morning. Morning. Happy Father. Wednesday. Just before we begin Mass, you at home need to know that during the Mass you might see a little shadow dart across the altar. I left the door open for the dog to let herself out, and it seems a little chipmunk has let himself in. So if you see that during Mass, don't be surprised. It is with great joy that we come together each day to praise God for all his goodness to us. And so we begin this Mass as we begin each day in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. The Lord be with you. As we come together this morning to praise God for all his goodness to us, we take a moment first calling to mind our faults and our failings. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. And let us pray. O God, who in the abasement of your Son have raised up a fallen world, fill your faithful with holy joy. For on those you have rescued from slavery to sin, you bestow eternal gladness through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. A reading from the book of the prophet Hosea. Israel is a luxuriant vine whose fruit matches its growth. The more abundant his fruit, the more altars he built, the more productive his land, the more sacred pillars he set up. Their heart is false, now they pay for their guilt. God shall break down the, their altars and destroy their sacred pillars. If they would say, we have no king, since they do not fear the Lord, what can the king do for them? The king of Samaria shall disappear like foam upon the waters. The high places of Avon shall be destroyed, the sin of Israel. Thorns and thistles shall overgrow their altars. Then they shall cry out to the mountains, cover us, and to the hills, fall upon us. So for yourselves justice, reap the fruit of piety. Break up for yourselves a new field, for it is time to seek the Lord till he come and rain down justice upon you. The word of the Lord. Thanks be, Thanks be to God. Seek always the face of the Lord. Seek always the face of the Lord. Sing to him, sing his praise, proclaim all his wonders. Glory in his holy name, rejoice, O hearts that seek the Lord. Seek always the face of the Lord. Look to the Lord in his strength, seek to serve him constantly. Recall the wondrous deeds that he has wrought, his portents and the judgments he has uttered. Seek always the face of the Lord. Descendants of Abraham, his servant, son of Jacob, his chosen ones. He, the Lord, is our God. Throughout the earth, his judgments prevail. Seek always the face of the be with you. <clears throat> A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. 
Jesus summoned his twelve disciples and gave them authority over unclean spirits to drive them out and to cure every disease and every illness. The names of the twelve apostles are these. First, Simon, called Peter, and his brother Andrew, James, the son of Zebedee, and his brother John, Philip, Bartholomew, Thomas, and Matthew, the tax collector, James, the son of Alphaeus, and Thaddeus, Simon, the Cananean, and Judas Iscariot, who betrayed Jesus. Jesus sent out these twelve after instructing them thus, Do not go into pagan territory, nor enter a Samaritan town. Go rather to the lost sheep of the house of Israel, and as you go make this proclamation, The kingdom of heaven is at hand. The Gospel of the Lord. Do not go into pagan territory, nor enter a Samaritan town. Go rather to the lost sheep of the house of Israel. What a task we have before us. Not only our Lord's commission to the twelve, but his commission to us to go after the lost sheep. Perhaps some of you are old enough to remember, I I don't, but perhaps some of you are old enough to remember when the church was packed every Sunday. When I was stationed at St. Matthew's in East Syracuse, some of the more senior members of the parish would tell me in their childhood there were folding chairs that were installed on the weekends going down the side aisles. That's how many people would come to Mass. What has happened in our world? What is happening in our world? That people hear the voice of the Good Shepherd, but do not follow. And how can we, people of love, people of faith, people who bear the good news of Jesus Christ, how can we reach out to those who belong here in church. Not to scorn or to scold, not to make them feel guilty, but to remind them of God's love no matter what their condition in life, and in love to never stop inviting. As our Holy Father, retired Pope Benedict, would often say, ours is a church of invitation to go out, to reach out, to invite back, and to welcome. And let us pray. We pray for the Church throughout the world, that she may always be a sign of God's love in the world, of God's love of the world he created, we pray to the Lord. We pray for our world leaders, for our president, and for all world leaders, our allies and our enemies, that they may work with transparency and integrity, trying to build a better world for the people whom they govern. We pray to the Lord. We pray for all of those in the medical profession, especially those in research, as they work towards a vaccine for this current crisis. We pray to the Lord. We pray for our firefighters, paid and volunteer. We pray for our police officers, the New York State Police, our own Oneida County Sheriff, the Rome City Police, and for all those who have dedicated their lives to protecting and to serving us, we pray to the Lord. And for the intentions for which this Mass is being offered, excuse me, the intentions from here, St. Mary's and St. Peter's, the intentions that are brought to us from St. Joseph's and Lee Center and St. Paul's on the north side of Rome, the intentions of the people of St. John the Baptist and Transfiguration, and we also remember the people and the intentions of the parishioners from St. John the Evangelist in Camden, St. Patrick's in Taborg, and St. Leo's in Holland Patton, we pray to the Lord. And now we take a moment of silence for the prayers in our own hearts.
Almighty God, we place these petitions at the foot of your altar this morning as we begin our day celebrating your divine love. We ask that you hear these prayers through the intercession of the Blessed Virgin Mary and her spouse, St. Joseph. And if it be your will, we ask that you answer these prayers through Christ our Lord. He's joining in the singing of All Hail the Power of Jesus' Name, number 713, if you have a book at home. my friends, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, our loving Father. <clears throat> may this oblation dedicated to your name purify us, O Lord, and day by day bring our conduct closer to the life of heaven, through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. And let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God. For in you we live and move and have our being. And while in this body we not only experience the daily effects of your care, but even now possess the pledge of life eternal. For having received the first fruits of the Spirit through whom you raised up Jesus from the dead, we hope for an everlasting share in the Paschal mystery. And so with all the angels we praise you, as in joyful celebration we acclaim. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith We proclaim your death, O Lord and profess your until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. 
Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Douglas, our Bishop, and all the clergy and religious. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your countenance. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Joseph, her beloved spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours, forever and ever. Amen, amen, amen. Jesus taught us to call God Father, and so as one family in faith, let us pray together. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your Church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. And the peace of the Lord be with you. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy. You should enter under my roof, but only say the word, my soul shall be healed. May the body of Christ keep me safe for eternal life. And let us pray. Grant, we pray, O Lord, that having been replenished by such great gifts, we may gain the prize of salvation and never cease to praise you through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. 
May Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. The Mass is ended. Let us go in peace. Please turn in number 720, The King of Kings, Christ Jesus Reigns. The King of Kings, Christ Jesus Reigns. The 